show. Sunday, 2nd of March, another busy week right around the country. Adelaide's hosted the Clipsal 500. In Sydney, of course, it's Mardi Gras weekend. While over in Perth, the shark cull is still going gangbusters. <laughs> Party time from coast to coast. Yeah. Joining us tonight, we have five contestants who have made a, well, a concerted effort to keep abreast of weekly events, including a first appearance from the fabulous Chrissy Swan, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Lovely to have you here at the uh, here at the desk. Have you been busy? Um, I have, and I just want to say thank you for putting Chrissy Swan and abreast in the same sentence. It was <laughs> inadvertent, I can assure no, you. I have been busy. I've just launched a fashion label with Big W, okay. which has kept me very busy. What's it called? Give it a plug. Chrissy, um, you're on telly, you got to plug it. It's called, and everybody get the pens out, it's hard to remember, it's called Chrissy Swan. Oh, good. <laughs> it's hard. Obviously, the creative meeting uh, behind <laughs> that didn't go all that long. Well, welcome. I think you know how the, how the game is played, mm -hmm. more or less. It's uh, 10 points for a, a correct answer. You don't lose anything for an incorrect one. Hands on buzzers. Let's get going with segment one. A Qantas Airbus in LA has collided with what? Sam. Uh, a Qantas plane. Sam, ten points to you. Yes. Straight off the bat. <laughs> Happened on the tarmac. Tommy, see you at the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> two Qantas planes yeah, crashed yeah. together. That's two jobs gone. Only four thousand nine hundred yes. and ninety-eight more to <laughs> work our way through. Tell me, what are these people protesting against? Oh. Chrissy. Outrageous car park costs. <laughs> and they would be well and truly justified, but no, Rach. I believe it's uh, Immigration Minister uh, Scott Morrison. Scott Morrison up in Darwin coming under some fire. Australia's Cardinal Pell has a new job. What will he be doing? Ed. He's the new Vatican Treasurer, Tommy. According to new footage, what were Chappelle Corby's first words upon leaving prison? Ed. Um, I feel like a crab. Indeed, she was being ushered sideways towards the... the Channel 7 limo. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> her, um, her second words were, I have to do what with Mike Willis? Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Uganda signed a bill this week making what a crime? Ed. Twerking. <laughs> They're linked. Uh, Chrissy. Unbelievably homosexuality. Quite correct. Good news though, torture and genocide are still legal. Hey! <laughs> That's not all bad. In, in some bad news though, Channel 10 just did purchase the rights to Ugandan Mardi Gras, so... <laughs> it's going to be a very uh, short... And, uh, it's a fun night, yeah. A very short event. Almost 2,000 people have admitted doing what at last year's federal election? Troy. Voting twice at different places so they can get a sausage at every sausage scissor. <laughs> You're right. Oh, not wow. the, sorry, not the sausage bit, but okay. a, yeah, voting more than once. <laughs> According to the Electoral Commission, one person, in fact, voted 15 times. Who would be desperate enough to vote 15 there times? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's my guy. <laughs> to the Gold Coast now, and tell me what's going on here. Yeah. <laughs> Rachel. I'll tell you what's happening. My future husband is getting away. It's quite a agree, Rachel. Ed. Well, it's not Grand Hacker because he had shorts on, not the singlet as a dress. <laughs> no, that's, that's the Gold Coast, my friend. That is, uh, a, is a young Coast. man who went in there and a bit of a misunderstanding and he got tasered eight times. Tasered and pepper sprayed after attacking police. Ladies and gentlemen, time now for the return by popular oh, demand no, on our oh, new no. segment, Drill Down. Oh, God. Tom, 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 Chrissy's here for the first time, and look what you're doing. I love a good drill down. It's really oh. tested really well last it, week. The focus groups liked it, did they? Come on, oh, this is going to work. Go. Our topic for drill down this week is, of course, Qantas. Now, they announced workers would be sacked. How many? Troy. 5,000. Correct. The also Chrissy. known as a Joyce load. <laughs> 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 I will pay, no, I have to pay Troy. The Prime Minister had this to say. We want to ensure that Qantas is not competing against its rivals with a ball and chain around its leg. What's the ball and chain? Ed. Uh, ownership laws, Tom. Uh, Qantas has to be majority Australian owned. Qantas Sales Act. Ed, you are on fire yes. tonight. Oh, Sam, no. do you want to just test your buzzer for a moment? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> As part of cost cutting, Qantas are getting rid of old what? Chrissy. 
planes. You are absolutely correct. Six Boeing 747s are being sent, I don't know, Pakistan or somewhere to like that. John Travolta's place. <laughs> John Travolta does already own one. They'll start getting rid of old music channels, and so Glen A. Baker's reeling in the ears. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, gone. No. It's gone. No. Love Glen A. Baker's reeling in the ears. Well, the best. No one else does. Going too <laughs> far. <laughs> <laughs> what ah. unprofitable route is being axed? Chrissy. Ooh, Chrissy. Ray Fiennes. <laughs> it, uh, it's their Mardi Gras special, Sydney to Uganda. It's, <laughs> it's um, Perth to Singapore. Perth to Singapore. And get this, Sydney to Mount Hotham is also under oh, the game. No, no. Oh, no. Tora Bright wow. Bird. I've <laughs> um, geez, hey. Pick. Pick the pick the, who's, who's taken drill down pretty seriously. Well, yeah. I think we should all take. We borrowed these lights from So You Think You Can Dance. Yeah. I think we need to take drill down a bit more seriously. All right. What airline actually reported a profit this week? Air Rach. New Zealand. Air New Zealand, twenty nine percent profit, and that brings us to the end of drill down. Oh, it was wonderful. Yay! We're back into the final round. No time to muck around. It's rapid recall. Channel 7 are suing the Australian Federal Police. What for? Troy. Raiding their offices. Correct. Why are residents of Beijing suffering this week? Rachel. Ah, uh, the smog. The oldest object in the world was found in Western Australia. What was it? Chrissy. Rose Porteous. Yeah. <laughs> and they've carbon dated her. Uh, no, it's not the answer I have here. It's a title. Ed. It's going to be some rocks. I think we need a little more specific. Old rocks, Tom. <laughs> a zircon crystal, yeah, in fact, exactly. Ed. Dating back 4.4 billion years. With which song did Bruce Springsteen open his Brisbane concert? Oh, Chris. I know this. Staying Alive, Staying Bee Gees. Alive. The Bee Gees. Yeah. India's naval chief, oh dear, he's resigned. Why? <laughs> Sam. <laughs> <laughs> They don't have a navy, do they? Well, mm. they less of one after his uh, tenure. Um, Rachel. They've had some submarine crashes or something? Uh, some fires and a, a spate of accidents on submarines, including one this week. Fire underwater is all right, isn't it? Fire yeah. underwater <laughs> is... No, is fire underwater is very bad, Not Troy. What you want. Okay. Tell me, where was this croc <laughs> swimming? <laughs> Troy. Between the flags, so what's the problem? Exactly. <laughs> It was between the flags, but where precisely, Chrissy? It was at Cable Beach. Up in Broome. Facebook has announced it's cancelling what feature? Chrissy. I think it's Facebook email. Do they have an email? They did. They did, yeah. They're Quite correct. <laughs> why have we still got poke? Have we still got poke? Why yeah, is anybody still there? anybody anymore? Well, my seven friends and I like to get together <laughs> and... Um... <laughs> Hey, didn't tell me you're No <laughs> need to take it there, Tom. <laughs> what did North Korea launch on Thursday, Rachel? The internet. <laughs> no, that would have definitely been banned. Uh, Ed. A missile, Tommy. How many, Ed? One, Tommy. Incorrect, Ed. Four. <laughs> oh, I don't know that. Short was... range missile. <laughs> Channel 10 host oh. James Matheson has confessed to what? Chrissy. This was fantastic. It's like radio trolling. He called up. Was it 2GB? In Sydney, and um, posed as pretended, a yeah, he was uh, he was an old dude called Gerard, I believe. More information than I had, Chrissy, but I'll give you the points. <laughs> <laughs> Why was Clapham Road in London closed this week? Yeah. For the running of the mad cows. <laughs> <laughs> Flooding from a burst water pipe was, in fact, the cause. Dick Smith has been... Oh, that brings us to the end of the show. Let's check our final leaderboard. And tonight's winner is none other than Chrissy Spong. Oh. Congratulations to our worthy winner. Thank you, everyone, for taking part tonight. Join us same time next week when, once again, we ask the question, have you been paying attention?